Welcome to Fiserv Forum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where tonight the only game in the Big East sees the Marquette Golden Eagles hosting the Yukon Huskies. A talented sophomore guard on his side. They'll need him tonight. Turnovers have been an issue. The turnover rate nearly 18% for Marquette's UConn team, especially on the offensive glass where they lead the nation over 16 per game. Here's Booknight on the drive. The underhand to Whaley in the baseline jumper falls off the mark. And Kevin, that's back-to-back -back excellent individual one-on-one -on -one post defense from this guy, Sonogo. They get ready to inbound after the foul. Hold the bounce into Sonogo, and Sonogo gets the bounce on the rim, and UConn off to a good start. You know the, the two fouls we've seen so far, they don't seem like a big deal, but it adds up because you get to that bonus quicker and it makes a difference. Just a step back from Lewis, not going to go. Rebound loose, picked up by UConn. Book night on the push. Book night end to end, driving into traffic, muscling it up and over the front of the rim. You have to play extended minutes, and you know Marquette's going to test it. Still a lid on that basket, and finally the lid is ripped off by Isaiah Whaley to operate. Goes, trying to find some of that real estate on the baseline. The double team came. Holly on the drive. Tough pull up. That won't go, but there's Book Knight. Their advantage and another good pass off a of penetration from Kobe McEwen. Seven first half points for Garcia. Book Knight with a pass fake. Tips his own miss in. Which way he comes off it, left or right, makes it hard for the hedge man to be there to slow him down. Good ball movement here for UConn. It's going to go with the rebound to R.J. Cole. They're going to need Whaley even more if Booknight can't get back after the elbow injury. Three for Cole. I felt good about that three. It wouldn't go down. And Cole will start it up for UConn. They still have not scored in this second half. And that tip will fall for Isaiah Whaley. The East Conference. Happy 96, Coach. Hey, hey. Ball around, got an open look for Brendan Adams, and Adams with a gigantic three. Heather and Marquette's just been terrific handling the rock so far today. Barton, extra pass in the corner. Jamal Kane trying to find room on the baseline. Carton attacking, fakes the pass, rejected inside. Terrific defense for UConn. That was Isaiah Whaley. for the Huskies, and here comes UConn on the road, a 6-0 spurt. 18. And a good timeout and an answer from Marquette to stop the bleeding momentarily. Well, he takes the three, driving baseline for the two, and then there would he have been enough to make a difference in that one. And a pocket pick, that's Isaiah Whaley with the steal, and a foul on Symir Torrance trying to get it back. Possessions have been by far their most active and engage defensively, and they've got a block shot, they get a turnover, a little bit of momentum potentially building for UConn here over the last couple of minutes. Oh, oh, oh. in on it, good position by Carlton. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh. Oh, looking at the bounce in, Whaley with the left hand, a team point two per game. For the Huskies this year, they lead the nation. And it's helping them again tonight. Is Whaley left alone? He'll launch and hit the three. There's Carl. In the paint, off the jump stop, ball tipped away into the corner. It's Holly who's starting up the floor. Holly, end to end, all the way to the rim, count it and a foul. Fan, is anybody going to pick me up? Is anybody going to stop me? Started with a good block from Sonogo. Again, defense creating offense, but watch Kevin. He's just. Push it. Am I going to stop me? Am I going to stop me? Nope. I'm going to go all the way and try to get three the hard way. And again, that's six foot nine coming at you, Tyler Polk. Shot clock to 10 for Polk for the lead. From three, it's good. And for the first time since it was 10 9, UConn, the Huskies down 18 in the second are all the way back on top. Oh. Shows up offensively this season. He's got seven tonight. Mm. Three up and down. That's Tyler Polly. How 
good has this young man been him since? Driving the dump down to Theo John and a tie up. UConn with the possession arrow and it's going to the Huskies. In the corner, Holly's three falls again. He's got 17 and he's hit four from behind the arc. Holly was three for 11 on the year from three. He's four of seven. Gets an offensive rebound. Can't convert on the three-point play. Marquette down three. Huskies will push it up the floor. Good feed underneath. And again, this is without James Booknight, who is playing with a bum elbow. In the corner, Polly again. Why not? Booknight still down under the basket. Four on four right now. Here comes Booknight trailing on the play with the steal tonight 0 for 2. And on the shot clock, Holly again. Holly steps in for a two and every single roll. 11-point UConn lead. The three will not go. Holly with the rebound is fourth. He'll dribble this one out. And from 18 down to 11 up. An improbable come from behind road win for UConn as they knock off Marquette 65 to 54.